in 2022, 24th of February, uh, all our lives has really changed, has changed because of the war. Um, and the, in the beginning, it was a very uh, stressful uh, moment uh, of, uh, in, in the whole Ukrainian uh, people. And it's still, it is a kind of a stressful situation. So it was uh, from the early beginning, I knew that I have to uh, work uh, and, with, with, and to help for, for the most uh, vulnerable people. So definitely it was a mission from, and it's a calling, you know, that uh, you see that opportunity also to work uh, and uh, do things for, for those uh, people. So in, it was very uh, time consuming and a lot of efforts and a lot of uh, energy what we put in. We felt already the, all the support what we received uh, and it's uh, within the country, outside of the country, from the whole Europe and from the whole world. And we, we try to match all this support, you know, with, with uh, the needs and uh, we saw that how many people left their uh, uh, houses uh, because of the war situation and uh, we we really wanted to focus mainly almost all the country as uh, a, a unit it was unita united in in terms of uh, of uh, really help all, all the people who are uh, affected by the the war i would like to uh, uh, thank you all for the support what the the Dutch people provided uh, all the prayers uh, and all, all the donations. Uh, all with these, uh, uh, we could actually reach and help uh, thousands of people. And I still uh, appreciate all your support and also all your donations because the needs is still remained with us. Uh, and we, we do believe that together we can help on those people and we, we can help and we can do something more, a better uh, circumstance for, for the people. Uh, in Ukraine, we, we were focusing mainly in three uh, approaches. It's one is the multi-purpose cash assistance. It is, uh, we provided cash for the um, um, IDPs, the internally displaced people. Uh, also, we we still working uh, in psychosocial support. We are providing psychosocial support, and also we provided a lot of food and non-food items for the people, because uh, uh, and it's still uh, uh, it's a need and will remain as a need for the coming months. Especially the winter season is coming. Uh, as I mentioned, it's it's a kind of still a survival mode, uh, but we hope that uh, the the war ends soon and. Uh, the people may return back to their homes. That would be the ideal situation. But if not, they might uh, also find their uh, position uh, maybe in, in, in Europe or somewhere else in the world. We see that a lot of support comes from outside of the country and a lot of uh, uh, support comes from all over the world. So it gives us also energy.